Fresh off a national title, the UD co-ed cheerleading team hopes to have the same core back next year in hopes of a three-peat. Um, this year at our national championships, uh, we had a lot of returning people, so it was a lot of, it, we were all very comfortable when we got down there. Being a first-year head coach, um, I had a majority of returners on this year's team, so that made things uh, really easy on my end. Um, we honestly had a solid month of really, really good practices, and I think we maybe had one day where we really had a down practice, so it was kind of a really smooth process. So um, when we went down there, it was really kind of just a matter of doing what we'd been doing, and I mean, it went better than I could have planned for. So they did great, they came together as a team, it was awesome. We only lost, um, I think, two people after last year, so it was pretty much the same people out there on the mat with us, which was, which was amazing. We all obviously became really close last year, so that just carried over to this year. Um, we found this quote about successful people that they work together, they lift each other up, and we really kind of stuck through that throughout the process. Um, so that really made things go as smooth as possible. If we had a bad day, we worked through it. I never had to send them home like feeling defeated. There's a lot of expectations that you put on yourself and other people are putting on you, and you just kind of have to wipe whatever happened last year and what everyone else is doing, you got to erase that from your mind. We worked really hard when we were here and before we left, and once we got down there, we were confident in what we were doing, and there were really no doubts when we went out on the mat. We did a lot of team team building and team bonding um, and some mental training. Um, so we, in the beginning of the year, we did um, a True Colors activity, um, which basically you identify your leadership styles, and then you understand each other's different ways of thinking and maybe why a person thinks differently than you do. We were down there last year and we won, but we didn't get that hit in our routine that we wanted. So we did have a fall last year and this year we were able to come back and we hit our routine clean exactly the way we wanted to. So we had left everything out on the mat and that was just an amazing feeling to have to be rewarded for that. We, we stay hungry for the next year and repeating twice is cool, but repeating three times is way better. So we just got to stay hungry and stay focused and keep thinking about next year. Don't think about what happened in the past or what's happening now. Just keep your eyes on the future. The tricky thing about cheerleading is at the end of the year, everyone tries out. So it's a really good motivator that they don't get complacent. They still have to um, work on their skills. And then we have some, some good recruits coming in as well to kind of balance everything out. While several seniors on the team are set to graduate, head coach Rob Ellery says the competitive nature of the team should be beneficial when it's time to try to three-peat in the national championships.